Erickson here with another purveyor of light Photoshop quick tip. Uh, today we're going to have a little bit of fun. Uh, today we're going to learn all about displacement maps and uh, the fun you can have and the creativity you can have with them. Uh, once you understand what a, a displacement map is, uh, you'll find many uses for it uh, in your Photoshop needs. Uh, so the first thing to describe what a uh, displacement map is, is um, it allows us to place another object on another object and let that object below take the form or shape of that person. So in this example here I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, lady's face and I'm going to displace map a American flag on her face. Okay like a, pa a face painting. So Let's go ahead and do this and you'll see how we can take this flag and we can place this on her face and then actually make it contour to the shape of her face using displacement maps. And so let's go ahead and jump right in and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing is uh, I'm going to click on my background thing and I'm going to go ahead and convert it to a smart object. Okay, now with that done, uh, I want to go ahead and... Uh, duplicate the layer and I'm going to uh, put it into a new document okay this is what I'm, I'm actually going to make what is called a displacement map and uh, it sounds complicated but it's actually incredibly easy so let's go ahead and give it a name I'm going to call it displacement map and I'll call it uh, displacement map three okay and I'm gonna hit OK and there we are now we actually have three documents open okay we have our displacement three we have our original image and we have our flag so now we have three uh, so now I'm going to continue to make this a displacement map and to do that I'm going to go up to filter then blur And I'm going to actually undo that because that's not what I meant to do. See, I'm going to go to blur and then Gaussian blur. See? And I'm going to blur this just ever so slightly. Uh, approximately uh, three pixels or so. Okay, and I just want to have you, when you blur yours, you want yours blurred to a similar level. Uh, the exact setting will change based on what the resolution of your photograph is. For this photograph here, uh, a resolution of 3 radius works fine. Hit OK. And then I'm going to do a black and white layer, adjustment layer on that. And I'm going to do go ahead and use a preset here because I want a high contrast and um, what will work really good here is a high contrast red filter and you can see right there we have turned this to a black and white and a high contrast difference between the light and darks and so that's just perfect and so now we have everything we need uh, to do a displacement map okay so we've taken the image we've turned it into a smart object we blurred it a little bit in the pixels and then we converted it to a high contrast black and white picture that's all we need to do now we just need to save it as and displacement 3 is fine and we go ahead and save it that's all we need to do now we have made the displacement map we can go ahead and close it up and now we can move on with the rest of the project okay so here we are back at our original image okay so the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is bring that American flag in and uh, in order to do that I need to uh, come over and take the American flag select my move tool and then click and drag on the flag and take it up and drag and drop on my other picture and doing that will cause the picture to be placed on top okay so now we have our two layers here okay and we're gonna have to do some resizing and uh, reshaping here so 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, free transform this by hitting uh, Command T. And I'm going to go ahead and transform this down a little bit. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to a corner till it turns here and I can actually rotate the image. And then I'm just going to uh, style this. Okay until I'm going to be satisfied with the fit and once I am I hit enter and now I have my flag approximately in the position where I want uh, to, to place on the uh, face of the young lady okay so from here what do we do well the first thing we need to do is we need to actually uh, get a mask uh, in place so that we could actually uh, get through so I'm going to go ahead and turn off our flag for now and I'm going to go back to the background image here and what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a mask just selecting just her skin um, you know anywhere her skin is on the face uh, that's where I want to face paint so I'm going to go ahead and do a really quick and dirty mask uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, quick selection tool here and I'm just gonna go ahead and let it do its thing here not really overly concerned uh, about how it does uh, we'll just let it correct and then we'll come in by holding the option key and bring it into line to areas that it uh, shouldn't have selected just carefully go over that and again I'm not looking for a tremendously accurate uh, selection just enough for us to get the effect of face painting okay now obviously her glasses wouldn't have been face painted so I'm trying to deselect those and come in and do that and then again you know you just uh, come in and adjust your things it takes a little bit of time here and of course when you're doing this for real uh, you're going to spend a lot more time refining your mask. Um, but we'll just come in here and we'll redefine this a little bit, refine this a little more. Okay, and we'll remove that around remove that around and that's about the most amount of work you're gonna need to do for this thing uh, uh, I think we're we're in the neighborhood of where we can actually make a pretty good mask let me just try to get this one additional area here see if I can get in a little tighter okay so there I go I've got my pretty good selection uh, I'm leaving the glasses uh, deliberately out uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit refine edge at this point and now I'm showing the image here and again I have a pretty good selection I'm going to go ahead and turn on smart radius and I'm going to select the tool here and I'm just going to go around the hairline a little bit so that it can correct uh, and redefine the hair for us okay okay so there we go we've got a pretty good selection uh, I think we're actually ready here uh, new layer with a layer mask we'll go ahead and hit OK and there we go so now we've got our our layer mask and we can copy and drag this up to our thing we can turn off our thing here and we can turn back on our bottom layer so now we have a mask that actually is masking out the facial area okay so that looks, that looks pretty good boy I'm I'm, I'm I, I think I'm satisfied that's done well maybe not just kidding all right so we we still obviously have some work to do okay so one of the first things I like I said is we're going to use that special displacement map 
we need to warp this around uh, the person's face here and make it a lot more realistic so here we go we're gonna go ahead and select that layer we're gonna go up to filter and then we're gonna go to distort and displace and from there I'm gonna select a horizontal of 10 10 stretch and repeat the pixel edges um, hit OK then it's gonna ask me well where is the displacement map I'm going to use and remember we saved that file called displacement map 3 so we're gonna go ahead and hit that and now this has been you notice the the, the contours of this have changed it is now uh, shaping around her face so now that we have displaced it all we have to do is change the blend area and we could change it to either overlay or I sometimes I like soft light um, and again that's a personal preference but you can see here right now from the example that we now have the American flag like its face painted and it actually is following the contour of her face and that's the beauty of the displacement maps okay so there's one other thing we need to do here just to put the quick finishing touches and that is to select our mask here and just make things a little more realistic okay uh, we've got to turn around and you know the mouth wouldn't be face painted so it's, it's just not believable that way so a little touch up here painting with black and white allows us to reveal and hide things on the mask so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint a little bit and uh, one of the things that I, I notice here would be uh, very rarely do they paint inside the nose so I'm just gonna touch up the mask by painting with black to remove those areas and if I make a mistake it's not a problem I just hit the X key and go right back over okay so don't be afraid uh, to make a mistake okay so again we're gonna do the mouth here I'm gonna do a much wider brush okay and I would come in and just do the lip area here come in make it much more believable and get the gum line here because we definitely didn't face paint her her teeth there we are and of course you doing this for real you would take much more care and time in doing so but there you go okay uh, there you have you have the before and now you have the after uh, so there you go that's what displacement maps are for uh, you'll find a lot of uses for them uh, whether you want to take a logo or place it on some a piece of clothing or a hat or maybe you want to do some fun face painting like this uh, your imagination is your limitation so hopefully you liked this and found this useful if you did be sure and leave some comments down below uh, and uh, we'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe. This way we could turn around and send out a notice each week when we get a new episode out there online. You'll get notified. And uh, until next week, this is Len Erickson signing off. Take care.